Hello everyone, and welcome to a lovely selection of uh, Fiat's today. We'll ignore the um, the Pinto. That is, well, it's not that thing to do with me. That's uh, that's my mum's car. Um, we'll do more on this BMW uh, next week because I've just been driving it and I haven't had time to really do much to it to be honest with you so uh, that will come next week when I get a bit more time to work on that in the meantime this is a BCA 500 I'll sit in the car one key and we can have a bit little discussion about it okay right so this BCA car, uh, it is a category car. At the moment, I'm not 100% sure what category. Um, it's a bit of a weird one because the description um, said, well, it's in, put it this way, it's in the, it was in the category for total loss. And they say it was a total loss. But in the description, it says the HPI check comes back with nothing. So... I'm going to do that um, and do that in a day or so when I've got a bit of time and work out what category it is, if it even is a category. Um, but it is a bit of a weird one because normally with BCA, they tend to clean the cars and um, clear out all the stuff. And this one hasn't really got that. So... This is kind of a bit of a first look at this car. It came from Manchester, got delivered a couple of days ago. It's been sat. And um, if we like look in here, we've got like, it's like rubbish and receipts. So let's have a quick look, see if we've got any hint about this at all. I don't know what type of receipt it is. Is it McDonald's? No, it's a B&M sales receipt weed control and they've had some warburton's yeah um when was that so that was the 21st of march so not actually long ago strangely and the receipts in there and then down here i think i saw it got a very nice well that was it's a bit icky down there, I'm not going to lie. And then some broken bits. They've not really cleaned it, which is a bit odd. And normally things like this all get caught, sort of removed as well. So, right. We'll start off basically with the interior. The It's a 2014 lounge, 1.2. So we've already got... So this... I don't know if it's been broken or just unclipped... We'll find out anyway. But that is currently off. Um, the vents all working. We'll turn this on. Good. We haven't got any music. But smooth. Anything in there? Anything in... No. I'm just going to see. Right, okay good so we have got a radio signal so that's the main thing um so i don't know if you can see this these are leather seats with this nice trim uh, not too garish to be honest with you and um there's no secret compartments and normally these come out of things like um, a special edition like a Gucci or um, what was the other one uh, is it like the I think they called is it a Riviera as well um, but it's in this one so whether or not someone swapped them out I don't really know um, nothing in the back there um, and it's the same for this so I don't really know if it was a optional extra or whether or not um, yeah someone's just gone and bought bought the uh bought the seats and replaced them so 
let's have a quick look. Got what's that? One p in there. Um, yeah, nothing else. It's got fifty. Let's put this in. Let's have a look. Fifty nine thousand miles on the clock. We ignore the fact that it says service coupon expired. Uh, we need to change that. And it's literally got no fuel at all. Um, so I have a feeling that I am going to have to um, get a jerry can and fill it up because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it to uh, a petrol station to get some fuel in it. Uh, no flashy mileage. So that's a plus at the moment. I can tell you that. Um, but yeah, so interior-wise, um, these seats are absolutely fine. There's no issues with uh, anything at all. Actually, I noticed these are leather, not material. So that's good. Um, nothing wrong with the sunroof either. So that's a bonus. Uh, but yeah, so sort of interior-wise, um, we're all good. Hopefully, I'm going to find some mats in the boot. But in the meantime, let's have a lift of that. There's no service book. So that's the slight downside to this one. Uh, you can see that they've got these little, or little like uh, extended little mirrors on the side there. Right, let's have a look in the boot first. Um, I bought new number plates because these, as you can see, it's uh, got water ingress. Okay, right, looks like we've got some mats. So, one, mm, two, three, four mats, so that is good. Uh, yeah, that appears to be all right. And the... Um, the wiper isn't in a strange position, so hopefully that will be fine. Just have a quick look under here. Hmm. I'm hoping there's a locking wheel nut somewhere, because that's going to be an issue. Where is the locking wheel nut? That is loose. Take that out and have a look. Hopefully it's somewhere. Really don't want there to be an issue unless hopefully maybe that they've taken out the 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 actual the locking wheel nuts from here. Right, okay. So as you can see it just needs a really good clean inside as well. So that is that. So, yeah. Uh, MOT advisory, I think, for the advisory was just the rear tyres. Yeah, they're, they're quite low. So we need to get... Gonna need some new rear tyres on here. They've gone very low. So we get those on. Right, um, got a tiny few little marks here. Nothing major. Can get rid of those easily. And the sills are all pretty good, from what I can remember from looking at it. There's no, this was classed as a grade three on BCA, which pretty much is uh, a pretty decent spec and decent, no damage at all really um, see I think that, that way that is hanging off but that's not clicked in I would say this fuel tank's been drained in fact hmm. it's weird need to lock that actually okay so from the rear the bumper, this is ever so slightly. It's not as shiny as it probably could be. So I think it's had the rear, um, had a rear impact of some sort. We need to maybe work on that scratch there. 
and that's ever so slightly marked as well and that here it's a bit loose but again there's nothing wrong with the sill down here let's have a look at this one yeah that tire is not good either it's just the door little scuffs here that just need touching up I think that's a bit scratched. Yeah, that's scratched there. Uh, windscreen doesn't need a place in, there's no chips to that. So that is good. Again, front of the plate got a bit of ingress in water as well. But again, on the front, pretty good to be fair. Let's have a look at these tyres. Yeah, they're not, they're not great either. Yeah, uh, that's not what I wanted. I didn't really want to buy four. Mm, they're getting a bit low. Have to see what four of these will do. Um, at a, a auto centre, something like that. Get four of those done. Eats into the cost a bit. Right. So we'll look. What have we got? So, uh, got a black box, so that's going to have to come off. That looks like the. It's a Mopar. I wonder if that's the original battery. It's an Exide battery. And that's the old um, black box. So that's going to have to get disconnected at some point. Let's have a look. Let's hope there's some oil in this. Bear with. Let's get that on the ground. Hmm. There is there's something, it's not thick. Right. So, the label is totally missing from that. So, it would indicate that the cam belt has been done at some point. But obviously we don't know when. And there's nothing to highlight or indicate that any label or anything has been left on here. Just put those back in there. Uh, yeah. So, but otherwise, it doesn't seem too bad. And when I uh, briefly started it and moved it, uh, clutch is good, gearbox is good. It doesn't. There's no. Uh, there's no noise or anything. Actually, you can tell, so this light has been done, because look, you can see down there. So that's had a new new headlight, so whether or not, it's interesting, looking at that there. Hmm. Look, that is actually loose. That's loose, that. So that needs tightening. So again, May have had a fun tool at some point. But yeah. So I get windy again. Bear with me, let me shut the bonnet. So yeah, that is the twenty fourteen fifty nine thousand mile lounge sort of pre facelift facelift purchased from BCA in Manchester delivered down to me a couple of days ago on a transporter delivery cost was two eighty to get that down here not through BCA obviously because that would have been a bit more expensive and I'd say at the moment uh, it is now out of MOT, so it does need an MOT because that's expired and I'm probably needing to look at four new tyres 
Um, let me just actually check the tread on this side. But I'd imagine it should be fairly even. No, that's a, oh my God, that's a completely different tire. Look at that. That's totally different. It's a good year. It's a good year. It's like a, oh God, that's an awful, awful tread. Look, it's just those. As opposed to that. Yeah, I'm probably going to get all four switched up. But otherwise, hopefully if I can do that, and then it goes straight in for an MAT, they shouldn't need anything else doing to it. So, yeah. And then we'll find out what category it is, if it even is a category, uh, on the um, HPI report. I mean, you can have an accident... And you can, you know, either get it done or fixed without needing the insurance company to uh, categorise it, or they just forget and don't put it on. So I'm not really sure where we're at with this, but um, the fact that BCA put it into the cat write-off category for selling indicates that they know something. So we'll have a look at that. And uh, yeah, I'll just give it a good old clean, good old little touch up, and we're there. And then I'll just start taking off all these lovely stickers and writing that's on there. So that's it. So yeah, thank you everyone for subscribing recently to my channel. And uh, I'll probably do one more video on getting this all sorted and uh, ready for sale at some point. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, what you think. How much would you probably sell it for? And, uh, yeah, I'll speak to you all again soon. Take care. And, uh, oh yeah, hit that like button. That would be really helpful. Until next time, see you all later.